Are they venomous? Only when they bite you. Look how big he is. Literally within minutes of being here, we've already seen so many different species. There's a little Katie did. Big roach. That's why we have this extra layer of screen we're gonna hang up here so that hopefully no bugs get into the bed. Fingers crossed. We don't even have to go on the trails around here. There's just so much. Oh, look, there's a little gecko. What's up, little guy? All right, so night one, just got our little bed set up here over here with our netting. That way, if any mosquitoes get through here, they still won't get through this. And you don't want to sleep with your skin up against this because obviously they'll still be able to bite you. But looking pretty good. Kind of romantic, yeah? All right, so I went, I was over here trying to go to the bathroom and uh, look at this tarantula. Look at the size of my hand. That's a big one. Okay, so we got them off the wall. Well, I don't know much about these guys. Highly venomous. Kill you in about three minutes. <laughs> I know that's. And they love the color white. Look at, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, down. you gotta get low because he can injure himself if he falls too high. Check uh, so this, this out. Yeah, this so this well. is, again, we've been here for like five minutes and I tried going to the bathroom. I looked up with my headlight. I don't want to bother him too much. Let's let him go out of this bathroom. Yeah. Just as we're trying to get the tarantula, Blake found this. Here you go, buddy. Stop running. Go. Hey, 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 hey. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Go. Get on the wall. Oh. <laughs> Don't drop again. All right. Fine. Go on the floor. Super cool. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh. another gecko. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? Guys, this place is just loaded with life. I'm wearing these big boots because there are venomous snakes everywhere. Check this out. Big gecko. This looks like the same size as we had before. These guys are everywhere, all over the bathroom. You can see his tail's regenerated because it broke off before from something, but check him out. So we just found the first snake, first little snake here in the Amazon. Looks like a little snail eater, but we're gonna see exactly what it is. Check that out. Literally within minutes of being here, we've already seen so many different species. Tarantulas, this little guy, just super cool coming out here and finding a place that's basically untouched and teeming with life. Sweet. We'll let him go back on his way. He was just out here hunting. There you go, buddy. All right, so we just found a big Amazon tree boa. We'll try to get him down with a stick. Flavio was just saying you should check these trees over here by the water, and now you'll see the Amazon tree boas, and that's exactly what we found within at not even one minute of looking. This guy's about five feet long, four feet long. See if we can get them down. They can eat birds, bats, lizards. Might wanna just tickle the end of his tail a little bit. That should get him to move a little more. We just don't want him to go back up. We just don't wanna hurt him, he's musking. Oh yeah. Touch him right here. Oh shoot. Come here. Come here, buddy. He is mad. Oh, oh, oh. Back up. That's good. Yeah. Oh, Here, get on this side, Fabio. I got it. I have it. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so we got to stick with his tail up here. Watch his face. Okay. Success. Right. This is your first wild Amazon boa? This is my first wild Amazon tree boa. Look how big he is. Check him out, guys. Haven't even eaten dinner yet. Just got off the boat. And we've already found so many amazing things. He's just like cruising, yeah, he looking for some bats, maybe some birds, sleeping lizards. Uh, horizontal. <laughs> First one of the trip. Sure, we're gonna see a bunch more. Got this big head on him. He's striking everywhere. And we're gonna let him back go on his way, but super, super cool. And we didn't get bit so yet. Like Look at that. So cool. You can see their eyes glow. So we'll be able to see them from far distances, just like a alligator or a caiman. They have that reflective eye. Let's let him go back on his way. He's all up in my hand. He bit me there. He's looking now. There he goes. Check that out. Watch him move through the tree. This is why they call him the Amazon tree boa. He will just shoot right to the top of that tree with ease. And it's a slick tree. So they just grip it all the way up. He's already gone. Super cool. Keep looking around and there's some leaf cutter ants right here. Moving those leaves up and down the tree. He's living a trail. 
I'll okay. leave and sticks. Don't worry, we can't get lost. I'm leaving a trail of leaves and sticks. Okay. <laughs> Got a nice toad down here. Look at him. Oh, he's right here. Look at this. Come around the other side of the tree. Look at that bullet ant. Oof. That thing is humongous. Check it out. That's my nightmare. You guys thought red ants were bad in the States. These things are gnarly. Said to be the worst bite from a bug. It's actually not even a bite, it's a sting. They have a stinger right on the back. And they have little hairs on them too. Ready? Here, look. No way. <laughs> Super cool. First bullet end of the trip. Things freaking massive. Let's keep looking. snail he was just chilling on a tree over here we got tons of mosquitoes all over us should have put on some mosquito spray but let's put this guy back got dinner over here got some salad what is that pineapple juice i don't even know no, it's uh, sour juice sour spice, but it's good sweet first time of the night with the crew we got flavio dylan scott robin charlie and blake brian's here somewhere but salad cucumber some mango, bread, and tiger shovel nose catfish. Let's eat. Just when I thought we were done looking for bugs, check out this guy. Pretty big moth here in the shower. Crazy. Breakfast is served. All right guys, so it is the next morning. Last night's hike was super cool. We found a bunch of little frogs, some snakes, one lizard, but we didn't get a chance to catch it. Ended the night with a bunch of new species that I've never seen before. Anyway, we are down here by the water right now. And uh, they said right now is the perfect time for piranhas. So on that note, I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you enjoy these videos. We're gonna be fishing for piranhas right now and then probably looking for some caiman. So stay tuned, peace.